Everyone has a story to tell. Sam, not Sir. We are kind. <laughs> Actually, I'm Sam. <laughs> well, uh, strolling to work? Yes. Yes, on this beautiful day I am. Oh. And you? Well, actually, I was just craving some fresh air. I, You see, I've been sick for quite some time, and I thought the cool air would do me some good. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, you're all right now, though, I hope. Oh, well, yes. Thank you for your concern. Very good. Well, I guess there is nothing more for me to do than to stay right here and make sure you don't drop anything else. <laughs> I, I, I like that. was quite a catch back then. So youthful. All those years ago. Sometimes it's hard to remember all the details. I'm just an old woman now. An old woman with quite a story to tell. Feels like a lifetime ago. I guess it was. Oh. Will you? You know what I'm asking you, Mayor. Don't you? Don't you? From the moment I laid eyes on you, in this very spot, on this very day, two years ago, I knew. I ask you sincerely, with my whole heart, will you marry me? Oh, Sam, I... Yes! <laughs> Look up there. All those lights, are burning bright for us tonight, kid. Let's dream a few dreams and wish a few wishes. Shall we? I wish for it to be just like this, forever. <laughs> My ring was gorgeous. I was so ready to marry Sam. And everything that went along with marriage. I thought I had the world. I had everything I ever wished for. Dreams, wishes all within reach, closer and more possible than you might think. Those were good memories. Then times changed, and those memories were so hard to remember.
to take this walk one last time before the baby comes and smell the grass and see the view and Lord knows when we'll have any free time again. <laughs> oh, we'll make time. This is a special place. This is how we met. And before you know it, he is going to tell all his friends the way his parents met. <laughs> he? <laughs> what makes you think it'll be a he? It's a hunch. We'll see about that hunch, won't we? It's only a few more weeks to go. <laughs> I can't wait. Me either. Sam, all my, my dreams and wishes, they're coming true, and it's almost too good to be true. I, I really don't know what to say. No, it's... Mary, don't worry your pretty little head off. It's, it's just your nerves, that's all. Nothing is going to happen. But the doctor said because of my previous illness, I could be prone to complications, and... I... Don't. You're just going to worry yourself for nothing. Everything is fine, I am telling you. It will always be just like this. Forever. So, just enjoy the view. I suppose you're right. most wonderful day of my life. The contractions came hard and fast. It was very obvious that something was wrong. My baby's heart rate dropped and he wasn't coming out. He was a breech baby, the doctor said, and that he'd do anything he could to save him. He was even afraid to transport me to the hospital at that point because he thought we might both die en route. The bleeding got even heavier, and I was terrified for both our lives. And right here, in this spot, I stayed and prayed. As time went by, the prognosis became quite grim. I screamed for the Lord, my God, for a miracle. I said I'd do anything to make sure that baby lived. Anything at all. My life flashed before me in that moment. I remember my husband saying, right here on this spot, that it was time to dream some dreams and wish some wishes. So I wished as hard as I could that it could be just like that moment forever. Please, I'll do anything to save my baby.
Well, my baby boy was born and lived. Two brothers came after him. I watched the three of them grow up to be strong, solid men, just like their father. And then I saw my husband die. That was the worst day of my life, or so I thought. I saw my three boys die too, one after the other. And then eventually I saw my eight grandchildren die also. Five girls and three boys. All of them one more beautiful than the other. I never felt more helpless. You see, I'm 178 years old. I made a deal with the devil the day I asked him to spare my son. And now, I'm destined to live this moment forever and always, just like I begged. I was desperate. I can't say even now that I regret it. My boys were good boys. They made a difference in this crazy world. My whole family was well liked and well respected in the community. Every year I make the trip back here trying to find some peace. And all I find is a big empty park bench where I met my husband. So much has changed over the years, yet so much remains the same. I've witnessed many different presidents elected into office, seen fierce wars between countries both won and lost, electronic inventions I can't begin to understand, babies being born, people dying. Everyone dies, except me. When I hear someone say, it's a beautiful day out there, it makes me cry. Be careful what you wish for, folks. You just might get it. See